A possible new target for those skimming devices that can steal your money. We've seen them on ATMs and at gas stations. Now a woman says she was a victim after using a downtown Detroit parking kiosk. 7 investigator Jim Kurtzner live downtown to show us how to keep ourselves safe, Jim. Yeah, David, we're talking about Brianna Harkevich. She says she parked here on Washington Boulevard a week ago today. You can see there are four kiosks out here. She walked up to pay with her credit card. Now, a skimmer is a device that's placed over the reader. When you insert your card, it actually reads the vital information on the magnetic stripe on the back of your card. By Saturday, Brianna says she had fraudulent charges on her account. I was extremely upset, and um, it pretty much ruined a lot for me for this week. Um, definitely feel violated by it. After we contacted the city, two from the parking department came down to check the kiosks. We are told they found nothing to indicate a skimmer was used here, but they're still gathering Brianna's information to find out for sure. City also says people can use a smartphone app to pay for parking with these kiosk systems. At the machine, people have the choice to use a card or coins, but you have to follow the steps. And the coin slot does not open until the license plate number is entered. Brianna says somebody tried to charge some 200 bucks on her account after she used her card here. The biggest one was blocked because she contacted her bank. It was at least 180. I think it was a little bit higher than that. They did get a much smaller charge through, but I ended up getting that back, fortunately. Now here's why city officials say they're not convinced that this happened on one of their kiosks. If a skimmer is placed over the card reader, they say it would not allow the card to be read by this machine and then processed. They also say that if you believe you've had a problem, contact the city right away. They're working with Brianna to find out if this indeed happened to her. Dave? Jim, so what do we do to protect ourselves? We just got at home an alert on the phone of uh a credit card being uh, misused uh, fraud fraudulently. Well, city officials say pay attention, and this is universal. If it's on an ATM or a gas pump, the skimmer sticks out. It's not flush with the machine like the normal card reader is right here. But also, check your transactions regularly online to see if there's any fraudulent activity. And for Brianna, she had to close her account and open a new one so she could move forward and not get hit with any other fraudulent charges. That's also part of the investigation. They'll go back and see where those fraudulent charges were made. Excellent information, Jim. Jim Kurtzner reporting live tonight.